What's up you guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you joining me for the very first time today, my name is Katherine Renee and welcome to the shit show. Just kidding, welcome to the show. Today is Saturday, August 28th. And on today's episode, we're going to be playing around with the Norvina Volume 4 um, collection from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'll show you in a minute how she looks like. I'm going to go ahead and look down. And this is just an idea of how to get this look, how to use the palette. Uh, if you guys um, want this, want to create this idea, go ahead. If not, that's okay too. Alright, here's the palette. This is what I'm going to be playing with today. She's kind of heavy and a little uncomfortable, but that's okay. I never really know what to say in the beginning of these things and also I get kind of low-key nervous because I'm just by myself here talking to myself, talking to the camera. Did you guys hear that? Enough about me rambling on. Please like this video, please share this with your friends and your family, it'll mean the world to me. And if you guys haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, I would love to have you. And don't forget to hit that notification bell as well. And you guys, what are you waiting for? I have social media, come and join me on there. And with that being said, please enjoy the show. But before we begin... So we're going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina Collection Volume 4. The colores that we're going to be using is A3 over here and C4 over here. It could be wrong because I'm like relying on the camera here. And the brocha that I'm going to be using is a Morphe M153 brush. I did the brush into the palette. I did not dust it off. What I'm going to do is just, I'm just going to pack where my crease is. It does not matter where you start. And with the colors, of course, it doesn't matter which color that you begin with. You still will get the same outcome. So I am going to be packing on over here. It does not have to be perfect. And we're just going to build as we go. And we, we are not going to be bonding out or anything. It's going to look a little harsh. It's going to look a little rough. But as I usually say... As I usually say, you have to trust the process. Just, just keep packing. And it's okay if some spots look patchier. It's cool, because guess, guess what? We will be continuing packing on there. I dipped the brush back into the palette. I did not dust it off. Still, still same method, we're just going to be packing it in there. Does not matter where you begin. And it's okay if it comes out like wider or higher than the other eyeshadow because we're just going to be blending her out and as usual we're going to build that gradient. And this is for now because obviously we're going to cut the crease but this is like for you to get like, I, I don't know how to explain it, like to make it look like there's that line before the blend if that makes sense. Okay so it looks pretty even so I'm going to go ahead and jump into the next step. Okay, so the next two colors that we're going to be going in with is E1 and C2 right over here, you guys. I could be saying it wrong, of course. And the brocha that we're going to be using is the Morphe M573 brush. So I did the brush into the palette. I did dust it off, as you guys can see. Um, we're going to be going in with two colors, so as usual, it does not matter where you dip your brush in. You're going to get the same outcome. Alright, so with the, the brush dusted off and everything, it doesn't matter where you begin, just start buffing out. And buffing means you're going to use little circles. Take your time, of course. And you see how I'm holding it at the end? We're going to softly blend it out. Because the what I've learned is when you hold the brush, like at the end here, it's gonna, you're going to get a softer touch. And when you get go close, like if you get closer here, for instance, like this, it's going to be like more harder. So we're gonna add something really light for now. So back to buffing out. Little circles, you guys. And you may see like the purple underneath there still of what we saw in the crease. And that's perfectly fine, you guys. But just take your time with it. I mean, don't rush either. And if you have this look planned out for something, make sure you practice. I don't want you guys rushing. No, of course, take your time. Always trust the process. I did the brush into the palette. I did dust it off as you guys saw. And we will all, I mean, we're still blending out, I mean, buffing out, I mean, little circles. So this time, I'm gonna do it a little harder. I'm not holding the end of the brush anymore. I am holding the brush a little bit closer to the brush end. And I'm applying, 
not that I'm applying because of the way that I'm holding the brush it's applying a little bit more pressure it's not hurting my eye or anything and if you guys are going heavy on your eye just please be careful remember you're having an object over your eye when I do just make sure you're doing this at your own pace doing carefully too I'm not gonna be responsible for anybody out there that's doing it you know a little bit extra than usual but I'm advising you guys to please be careful all right so I'm gonna even out off camera and I'm gonna go ahead and cut the crease so I'm gonna be right back so stay tuned and of course if you guys are ever curious about how I do my cut crease I'm gonna go ahead and link that video down below as you can see I'm done cutting my crease so we're gonna keep moving on we're gonna be using a3 c4 again we're gonna be jumping back in here and the brocha that I'm going to be using is a Morphe M456 brush. I dipped the brush back into the palette. I did not dust it off. What I'm going to do is just pack the outer corner right over here. As good as we have this tape. If you're not using tape, that's cool too. I just use tape because it's really easy for me. And like also like it's easier for the cleanup. And then it's going to be blending out, buffing out little circles we're gonna be packing in there more of course but just be patient with it it just blends out as much as as much as you can again i dipped the brush into the palette i did not dust it off packing her in there more we're packing more in there i forget how to talk every time we make it's just that i'm so concentrated when getting the look done i forget how to talk I'm just going to be blending out more here because since we put the, the color on top of the wet cut crease we, we still want her to look blended out we still want to create that gradient at the end there okay so I did the back I dipped the brush back into the palette it was the last time I'm just packing in the outer corner now packing 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 and then I'm going to blend just a little bit to get a look on point you guys alright everything looks pretty even all right, so next colors that we're going to be using is A1 and A5 right over here. And the brocha that I'm going to be using is the Morphe M522 brush. And then what we're going to, first of all, we're going to blend a little bit of the cut crease here. And, okay, so I dipped uh, the brush into the palette. I did not dust it off. Um, doesn't matter which order of the pans that you do it in because you're going to get like the same outcome anyway and then because I'm going to take advantage of the fact that this is still wet I'm just going to be pressing packing her on there she looks so pretty you guys and just take your time and of course um, I mean sometimes I forget to do it just look down on your mirror don't do like this and then like this because you're going to get wrinkles I don't want you guys getting wrinkles okay and just look down if you want to raise your eyebrows go ahead because that's what I'm kind of doing because I have hooded lids and I'm just going to be blending down very softly and of course please be gentle to your eyes I love how like one color has reflex of gold and the other one is gold with like a little bit of a pink shimmer it's so beautiful you guys, you guys like I don't know if the camera can pick it up and that's okay if it doesn't but like if you guys ever attempt to mix this in person you guys will know what I'm talking about it's still that big Okay, so it looks pretty even to me, so we're going to go ahead and move on. Alright, so going back into the palette, we're going to be going in with C3 right over here. And the brocha that we're going to be using is a Morphe M522 brush. Alright, I dipped the brush into the palette. I did not dust it off. Um, we're just going to be... I don't know how I'm going to do this. Okay, I had to angle the mirror because the handle was getting in my way of what I, I want to explain, what I'm going to do. Again, we're going to be looking down, and then we're just going to be packing on the color pack her on okay and if you have to like squint or raise your eyebrow i encourage you to do it because i'm doing it right now hooded lid problems but okay so now that i i kind of packed it on there and i'm just going to be going back and forth down i'm going to start from the top and then go down why because i want to blend her out and at the same time i'm trying to create that gradient and i have not looked at the camera once i just want to make sure this is recording or not blurring, but if it gets blurred, I am so sorry, you guys. Forgive me. We're going to have upgrades soon, I promise you guys. But yeah, I'm just going to be looking down, blending. So pretty, pretty, pretty. Why did I say it like that? I don't know, but just ignore me. I just get really excited when we blend. 
I'm gonna excite to plunder you guys. Okay, so we pretty much got it to where I want it to. It looks pretty even. I'm gonna do like little finishing touches, like blend over here and over there, correct over here, over there. I'm gonna go ahead and do my lashes and my eyeliner off camera, so I'll be right back, so please stay tuned. And if you guys are ever curious about how I do my lashes and my, I was gonna say mascara, my eyeliner, um, I'll go ahead and link that video down below. And I'll bet you I'll be right back. And we're back. All right, so off camera, I went ahead and did my lashes, my liner, also my full face. And if you guys are ever curious on how I do my full face of makeup, I'm gonna go ahead and link that down below. So, moving on. What the fuck is my best? All right, so going back into the palette, we're gonna go in, be going in with C3 and D4 right over here, you guys. And the brochet that I'm gonna be using is from Sigma Beauty, the pencil E30 brush. All right, so I dipped the brush into the palette. I did not dust it off. Um, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is kind of like tilt the mirror like this, so that way I can go ahead and do like the bottom lid over here. And I'm just gonna be dragging it across, nothing special. Just watch out if you get in your eye. And if I'm making an ugly face, I'm sorry, you guys. Oh God, this is what I hate sometimes. It gets in my flipping eye. I went back into the palette. I did not dust it off. Same thing, we're gonna be looking up and then yeah, you're just building it. And this is optional. You do not have to do this. I just do it because I like to look complete. And I feel like with my hooded eyes, it looks better. Again, this is optional. I'm just doing it because I like to do it. All right, so everything looks pretty much even. And going back into the palette, we're going to be going in with B1 right over here. And the brocha that I'm going to be using is the Morphe M441 brush. All right, so I dip the palette into the brush. I'm not going to dust it off. We're just going to be using this as highlighter. Again, this is just an idea. Oh god, this is pretty. This is just an idea on how to use it, the palette and everything else. You know how to use it as a highlighter. And dip back into the palette, did not brush it off. And again, as I as I keep saying, it's an idea. And at the end of the day, you know, I feel like they were the palette was given to us for a reason. It's just not for the eyes, it's for you to be creative as well. Alright, so I'm pretty much done with everything. I'll do like a few touches here and there. Um, but other than that, I'm gonna figure out what to do on my lips and my hair, so I'll be right back. And this is my final form. All right, so those of you that stuck all the way through the end, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. You don't know how much that means to me. But anyways, let's go ahead and talk about the palette. She looks like this or whatever. She's kind of heavy. I'm gonna go ahead and I am gonna go ahead and open her up. And I have her, I'm holding her like this, so that way she doesn't drop out of my hands. And also you guys don't see the reflection of everything that's in, you know, in front of me. Alright, so let's talk about her. I like it. Um, well, I like the majority of the colors, by the way. They blend really nicely. However, okay, maybe I'm doing it wrong. Who knows? But this cute little yellow tone over here, which is D2, it's a... If you're going to go for a light yellow, this is for you. If you're trying to get the that pigment that's in that pan, it's going to be really hard. Um, I was trying to use it in my inner corner over here, and this is the best I'm, I think I'm going to get to because I tried using like like Fix Plus. Um, I, mean, yeah, I tried using all kinds of setting spray to see if I can get this color. Um, I even tried putting it like on a cut crease, where it's, which is white, and even like a tan. Um color and I'm not gonna lie to you it's it's really it's pretty in the pan but it does not show up how you you really wanted to but um if you guys like have any you know ways to for it to be really pigmented little girl no because it was really hard but other than that this is a pretty color um pretty palette I like the color story the only thing I would change though is like the the color story for it to complement for example, like have it more organized. That's just me. That's the OCD in me. But it's okay. Other than that, it's really pretty. I like it. I recommend it. And again, I'm going to go ahead and look down. Um, this is just an idea of how I use this palette. Um, there are going to be more creations. There are going to be more ideas coming soon. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys ever recreate this look or um, create this look with your own take on it, let a girl know. I'll be more than happy to, to look at it and see what you guys done with it. But anyways, 
with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end this video right here. Um, if you guys haven't already, please like this video. Please share this with your friends and your family. And please consider subscribing to my channel. I would love to have you. And don't forget to hit that notification bell as well. And you guys, I have social media as well outside of YouTube. So I'm going to link those down below so you guys can follow me. You guys can chat me. Um, I usually respond back. But anyways, thank you for joining me on this shit show. Goodbye.